And we are back, last match of the night here on the main stage. Elevate taking on Envy. And Elevate with the retooled roster. We missing classic, it seemed here in game number one. Octane unable to keep up with Goonjar. Yep. As you saw, Envy kind of steamroll through the first parts there of Hardpoint Detroit. I mean, if I'm classic right now, I'm smiling because I joined Denial and we're shredding through people. My old lineup is struggling a little bit. A little bit. Uh, he, got, he, got, he got the better hand of that uh, of that deal, looks like, at the moment. But Elevate obviously not out of this one yet. They do find themselves down 1-0. Next map is going to be Recovery, Search, and Destroy. Earlier on today, we got to see FaZe on this map. A lot, and another thing just in general with Search and Destroy so far this weekend, a lot of round 11s. I think oh, yeah. Optic Gaming alone's already had three round 11s that they've gone to. Uh, and, and other matches as well have seen them. We'll see if this game is that close. This is definitely one that could be because both these teams stack up very well in Search and Destroy. And we've seen a lot of different play styles so far tonight on the map recovery. Yeah. Some really fast paced action. You saw Zuma and the FaZe Boys really opening up strong against ISO. And then once yeah. things slow down, ISO is showing that you can play this map very cautiously, very tactically, yeah. and we're able to get the win in that round 11 comeback. But when we go into this next game, there's one player I'm looking out for. It's gonna be Saints. Okay. I think Saints, he's kind of the veteran of this squad. Old man on the roster, right? He's gotta lead this team. He's gotta get the young guys fired up. They gotta be disappointed after that first loss. Oh, absolutely, that's gonna be one. And uh, once they get a new roster, how they're gonna bounce back from a frustrating game on loss, because you know, right now Octane is Furious that he is losing to his old lineup. Another thing to point out too is I'm going to be watching Jerd. Jerd, 24 and 35 in game number one. Statistically not his best, but then again he's just a hyper aggressive SMG. Sometimes right. gets cut down from the battles from range, especially on Detroit. But I'm going to I want to see if he kind of tones down the aggression here on Search and Destroy. Does he play it a little bit more smart instead of recklessly going out and getting first blooded? They say, hey, you know what? Let me see if Looney can make something happen. Then if he's struggling, I can fill that role for him. It's an example of the veteran leadership on this team. Will JCap make the shot calls for this lineup to make sure that they always are uh, performing to their best abilities? Lots of headwear on that main stage. You see Jerd Rock and the X Games had, of course, participating back at our season two finals <laughs> in Saints Austin on the bandana. other side. <laughs> Saints looking like Rambo tonight. Yeah, always, always. And right now we're waiting for the guys to uh, get in the lobby. We'll get this match started for you very soon. But recovery will be game number two. Parliament Uplink Game 3, Compound Hardpoint Game 4, Solar would be Search and Destroy Game 5. Parliament Uplink is interesting to me because that's Octane's favorite game mode. That is like his bread and butter. If you want to see a map where he can go off on, where he can absolutely kind of dictate how the game is played, it is Parliament Uplink. So if Elevate can win this map number two, head into that Game 3, this is a squad that I definitely think can give a run for their money to Envy, who's typically a very good Uplink team. When you looked at this Envy squad earlier in the first respawn game mode, yeah. what was stronger, the ARs or the SMGs? Really, for me, from what we just saw, and so far earlier today, the SMGs were performing really well. Uh, I didn't really see anything too crazy out of the ARs. Yes, Gunjar was kind of holding his own there, but you need to do that. It's not like he went 45. It's not like he put up slasher-type numbers. Mm -hmm. He just did his role. He was consistent. Will that remain is the big question, because people always mention with Gunjar, especially when you see back on the likes of TK, what Gunjar is going to show up. Is that going to be the same thing with this NB lineup? Also, yes, Jurd struggled here right now, but earlier today, he was going off in his earlier matches. So I, I expect him to bounce back, especially going into that Parliament uplink. But another thing is, how comfortable is he with that AR? Because that's a map where you typically will see four ARs run. Yeah, I was going to say, you look at Compound, you look at those SMGs. Yeah. You look at Parliament, it's all about All ARs, yeah. All bow. So game three, total toss up for me. We'll have to see how it plays out, but I'm hoping to see a lot of sniping coming into yeah. this game two on recovery. We've it seen happens. some awesome snipes throughout the day just to open up here at New Orleans. And you look at this Envy lineup, we know what Looney can do with his sniper rifle. Do you awesome. think anyone else would even consider it here for the mo <sighs> from the boys in blue? Honestly, I think Looney would be really the main one that would, ha that would have it out. I think that they want to have more of a normal weapon presence, especially on the middle of the map. Uh, they don't kind of want to get caught in a spot where they have two snipers in the back, and if their presence aren't felt, then you're kind of playing yourself at a 2v4 in the middle of the map where engagements really don't go in your favor. The map is loading up, though. You can see the pounds coming in from Envy. These guys are feeling pretty good after that game one victory. We'll see, though, how it winds up going. Elevate do not want to go down 2-0 in this series heading into uplink. Chris, predictions for this one round, round count. Who do you think takes it? Going Elevate 6-4 here. Okay. Okay, uh, I think... Uh, I think this one's going to be Envy, man. I think they're going to go up 2-0. Heading into Parliament, though, I think this is a series that's definitely going to go at least four games. I think 
Elevate's going to get the better hand of him on up link, so we'll see if Endy can make that prediction happen. Heading into this game, though, I think right up the start, we'll wind up hopping on board with Looney, see if he has that Moors in hand. Doesn't appear so as of right now. Jared's pulling one out okay. instead. So it looks like uh, we got at least one sniper on defense, a whole lot of bowels being yeah. put into play on this map, and we'll open things up with Jared. See where the sniper rifle's going. Okay, yet. so this is exactly what you expect from the likes of, well, Chino on the, on, on a Rise roster. Jared playing the exact same position. Very popular spot, but Goonchar was the one who went hyper-aggressive for Envy. He charged right through middle cuts, killed the player who was on those white trailers. Now he knows the bomb is on the side. He'll check that. Heads up play from him if he can pick up the kill. There it is. Already two kills in favor of Goonjar. We mentioned, you know, which one's going to show up. Here's the third. Wow. Will he get the ace as well to start things off? He's going to try to chase down this kill. The goon is doing so much damage for Envy right now. Three kills to open it up. And there he's it got is. the fourth. Oh, oh teammate is going to steal oh, yeah. it. But Goon looking phenomenal here. And you got to like the setup. You got Jerd watching the street. You free up Goonjar to just roam where he wants. And then... Here's Jerd and Goon at the end, combining for the final kill on Slack. I, I do want to point out, I was watching Saints during that battle against Goon. Yeah. Saints hit Goon maybe one bullet. He is just Shaky spraying shots. all over the place. Elevate's got to get their shot dialed in. Oh, exactly. And one thing to point out, too, with Goonjar right there is that was really perfectly played. He knew exactly when to challenge. He knew when to stay hidden. The communication was there for Envy. They're now up 1-0. to zero. And look at this. A four-man flank coming out of Elevate. Looney gets first blood as well. He should be able to get all the info for his team. All right, they should know exactly where the opposing team is. The bomb should be planted momentarily. It looks like JCAP will hesitate, though, to check his backside. Well, Elevate on defense okay. got so aggressive. They're yeah. all over this A bomb site. Envy has to be aware of it as they check all the corners. Gunjar is going to be positioned in mid-street. And Octane around that RV is going to be challenged two players. Octane with a little bit of support. He's going to have TJ with him. Saints is going to pick off Goon. J-Cap will fall now as well. And all of a sudden, it's all up to Jared. He is going to get cleaned up. Interesting rotation yeah. for both teams. They kind of went left off spawn and then converged down the middle. It was a play call, really, from Envy, where you could kind of see some hesitation. Here's Saints, though. Picks up two kills in your final kill cam. But back to what I was saying, Envy, they got a call out from Looney that at least two players were on the A street. You kind of wanted to see J-Cap Make that split second decision. Let's get the bomb down right away and set up around the B site. Unfortunately, they tried to wrap it towards the A street and well, Elevate were completely ready for him. Tied up one to one, Elevate now on the board. And, yeah. and Saints gets three that round. When you mentioned he needs to heat up, he did exactly what you wanted to do. Solid shots coming in as he put away the bow in favor of this SMG. Slacked and TJ gonna open up with your first two kills, but Looney answers back with a two piece. So two on two, <laughs> Saints outshot, they're slacked. Last man standing against Jerd here in the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, they were and on top of is. each other. Jerd was right underneath Slack. Slack is able to pick him up. Here's your final kill cam. Look, look, look at how awkward this positioning was from Jerd. Unfortunately for him, he had no idea where Slack was. They both just tried to dart away from each other. Round going in favor of Elevate. A very quick one, and there's that aggression on defense paying off. Solid plays from Slack. A three kill streak for him over the last two rounds. Looking through, no snipers coming out here. This is gonna be a very fast paced round. J-Cap with the bomb already spotted outside of tunnels. Jerd gonna try and jump in, take some shots for him, and Nade lands at his feet, but he survives it. Saints, meanwhile, pushed up pretty aggressively at B, knows there's gonna be someone jumping above him. Octane finishes one and the second. Great teamwork coming in, oh and gosh. Slack will find the third. So. A good start from Envy turns into a bit of a nightmare as it's a loony and a one on four. Looney doesn't even have the bomb. He's been stunned. They know exactly where he is. The surround is coming in. Should be able to pick up one kill on TJ. All right, now a one on three. He's just going to pre-fire these doors because he expects the aggression to come in. Gets cut down from top maps. And what looked like Envy were going to kind of come out strong on this search and destroy. Elevate has fired right back with three rounds of their own. I like what Elevate did this round. They set up over at B, trapped in two players. And then once they had Looney kind of picked out, yeah. They all came in at the same time. Good pinch, nice positioning, able to trade out those kills, and solid stun work coming in from Saints, setting up Octane for the two-piece. A really nice blind counter, really out of Elevate, where they send three over to B. It pays off as they're able to pinch Envy in that bottom yellow jungle area. Octane, with that bomb in hand, should get first blood for Elevate again. 
So Looney getting caught in middle map. So far, the aggression on defense Ooh. not paying off, but Jerd with that Moors able to even the numbers back out. No hit markers for Jerd. He's hitting faces. Oh. And he's going to have to back down. Feels a little bit of pressure. Panic Nate goes out. <laughs> no hit marker there. Action over at B, but that player will escape safely as it remains a three on three. I don't want to miss a Jerd snipe because this player's about to peek him on the A Street. DJ is inside bottom maps. He's going to be the one on the flank. Will he check this back area? It doesn't appear so as of yet. TJ will put the shots down with the Atlas, but Jerd picks up the snipe kill. Now a two on two. Whiffs yet again with that Moors. He does know Saints just dropped down to bottom yellow catwalk. The bomb is being planted by Slack. It's a two-on-two. Two. Up to Envy to get to the fuse. Jared just trying to get an angle. Pogoing up and down. He's got J-Cap with him. Nice route from Slack to get out alive without getting shot. And it looks like J-Cap going to find a big kill on Slack. Mid-street, one-on-one now. Saints is going to get picked out. J-Cap wins the round. And Envy is back in this game. Instead of 4-1, we're now going to be looking at 3-2. And let's look at J-Cap so far this game. Doesn't have a kill coming into this round. 0-3. There picks up the final two kills in that round. Instead of it being, once again, as you mentioned, 4-1. Now 3-2. One more round. Envy ties it all back up. An example of why many people regard J-Cap as one of the most clutch S&D players in Advanced Warfare. It seems he's always getting 1v2s or 1v3s. Start things off with him as J-Cap will be your bomb carrier. Taking it A, it's a four-man push, two defenders set up to stop it. In the back, you're gonna be looking at Slack, and he is gonna be working with Octane there on the mid-street. It's actually TJ Howley who is yeah. on this street who wants to be poking forward. Ooh. Slack is gonna rotate from mid. TJ gets your first pick, Slack gets a second, and all of a sudden it is Jerd, your last okay, man standing. TJ. Jerd gonna fall. TJ, okay. sniper, pistol, oh. doing it all, and he's going to give a little extra love to that dead body. Oh, man. He hits two snipe shots. First, the headshot on Goon, then the quick scope. He then whips out the Atlas 45 and finishes off the final kill. Nice play from him. And a lot of times, you'll see players play a little bit more passively. They'll be on that A street. They'll notice, okay, maybe I'm a little bit too exposed. Let me back up. TJ playing with a lot of confidence there. He knows he'll hit his shots. He does just that. A nice three kill round from him. Elevate. Up by two. TJ on the screen. Gonna get a little stun action. Runs to safety. Full red. Slack cleans up Looney. Bait and switch from TJ. Goonjar now feeling the pressure. Ooh, Octane man. rips him in half. It's Jordan to 1v4. And here's an example of, well, when you have someone rocking that, at, uh, rocking the Moors, you don't really have that extra pressure in middle map. It doesn't pay off for Envy. They're now down 5 to 2. Elevate one round away from tying up the series one to one. I don't know how TJ survived that initial interaction. Full red, hides in tunnels, Slack just charges out, saves the day. Yep. Slack now leading the squad seven and four, been very active on the bomb as well. I thought this would be a six, four game in favor of Elevate, but they could finish it right here. Envy, their work cut out for them. They need to win four straight if they want to go up 2-0. Otherwise, we'll have an even series going into this uplink. Octane on your screen, going to lead the charge. Getting pretty aggressive okay. with the bow, and his shot is back. Yeah, it looks like this is the Octane you expected to see in the series. A very shaky game one. Now 8-3 and three on a three streak. Another round. What's that, four this game? Where Envy's already in a 1v4. And again, Looney just has his moors. All signs against him. He doesn't have the bomb. He's only got a minute to work with. I think we're going into a game three, knotted up one to one. You got a lot of time, but you also got a lot of enemies. Looney is yeah. going to find the one player that was singled out. That was TJ. So able to escape with his life. But you just look at this Elevate squad and these seasoned veterans not going to give up this round easily to Looney. He's going to have to play this perfectly. 40 seconds left on the clock. Now needs to start making some moves. Black takes him down six to two. Elevate really run away with that one after Envy stopped him in that round one with Gunjar picking up three kills. Final kill cam comes out of Slack, a combined eight streak to close out that game between Slack, Octane, and Saints. Nice to see those players bounce back after a uh, shaky game at number one. So that's going to put us at one to one, heading into Parliament Uplink. This is what I said. This is the best case scenario for Elevate. As now they've got, well, Octane who shot us back on his best map. Octane was looking great in that map, and I think Slacked is also feeling pretty darn good. A 2.25 from Slacked, Octane a 2.67. Yep. You saw Saints also go double positive at six and three on the other side. Goon, 
Not a big threat, neither was J-Cap when it came to SND, but Surge, totally different play style than what we'll see in the respawn. So I'm gonna point out with Goon Jar's first three kills, and his only three kills came in round one. Fact. Outside of that, <laughs> dropped a goose egg. So unfortunately, we were hyping up Goon. We said, you know, he's gonna stay hot. He did the exact opposite of that. Elevate, tying up the series one-to-one. -one. When we come back from this quick commercial break, Parliament Uplink.